Welcome to CougarHighlights.com, your number one source for video covering the University of St. Francis Athletics. We've got a special treat for you tonight, kicking off the 2010 Indiana High School Athletic Association football season. It's the defending Class 2A state champion Bishop Lures traveling to Spooler Stadium to take on the 13-time Summit Athletic Conference champion Snyder. The Panthers opened this season looking for their first conference crown since 2005. D'Angelo Fincher and Kendall Frederick, just two of six University of St. Francis recruits participating in this one. And on the opening drive, it's second and 27 from their own 31. And QB Darren Barber finds six foot two inch, 180 pound Akeem Kelsoff. A host of Knights are there to meet him. Lures, they'd eventually take over possession. It's junior QB James Napke with the pitch right to Indiana University bound Kenny Mullen. He is off and shaking tacklers for gain of 22 yards to the 34 yard line. Moments later, Mullen out of the Wildcat, hands it to Fincher, who takes it across the 50-yard line for a first down. Third and six now from the Snyder 30, and Napke hands it off to senior Kion Maddox, and he's gone. That's a touchdown. Lures, they're on the board first, 7-0. Next Lures possession, Napke pitch left to 5 foot 7 inch, 160 pound Fincher who collides with 6 foot 2 inch, 180 pound Frederick. That's the first down. We move on to the second quarter. The Knights up 7 nothing until another Cougar recruit. Steven Kiermeyer bangs it in from 10 yards out. And Lures goes up 14 nothing to start the second quarter. The Knights again getting to work on second and seven from their own 36. That's sophomore Michael Rogers with the catch for a first down. Third and two now in the six foot two inch, 215 pound Kiermaier rumbles all the way inside the five yard line. And on second and goal, Napke out to Mullen who smells the end zone but the ball pops out. That's a touchback. And Snyder will take over possession. Panthers getting things going with junior running back John Nelson. He led the team with 136 yards rushing. But as it was all first half, Panthers stalling drives. As for the Knights, not so much. The six foot two, 184 pound Rogers with the catch. Moments later, Napke's gonna find Mullen. And Mullen doing what he does. Lures continues to roll. Napke now roll in right. And throwing across his body, hits Nick Chapel. We got first and 10 now from the Panther 46. Napke scrambling until six foot one inch, 210 pound Shaquille McGee tracks him down. That's a big play by the junior defensive end. But the Knights go back to work with the explosive Maddox, who shows off those shifty moves in the open field before getting clotheslined at the end of that play. That's a first down. This is a seven play drive, 75 yards. That takes one minute and 11 seconds and is capped with this Kenny Mullen 31 yard reception for a touchdown. And the class 2A number one ranked Knights go into halftime with a 21 point lead over the Class 5A Panthers. In the third quarter, Lures gets the ball first, and it's first and 10 from their own 22, and that's Fincher again getting some tough yards. First and 10 now from the 49, and this is sophomore Jalen Smith. Bam! Two plays later, the six foot three inch, 202 pound running back again gets the knot. So many weapons for the ninth, but they go back to Smith, who also plays linebacker, contributed 51 yards rushing for Lures. This is a one yard plunge for his first touchdown on the season. Snyder trying to get something going. Barber's rolling left, but his pass gets tipped by Kiermeyer. Smith's gonna come up with the interception. What an athletic play. Back to Napke, who is 13 of 16, 167 yards passing, finds Maddox, who whoops, 
A change of direction shakes the Panthers as Maddox totes the ball inside the 10 yard line. Third and two now and Mullen takes the pitch through the air on the ground. Mullen accumulated 115 yards on this day. Two touchdowns, the PAT would be blocked but Lewis is up 34 to nothing as time ticks down on the third quarter. On to the fourth, where Barber unloads a bomb to Kelsaw. That's a 59-yard touchdown reception. Panthers, they get on the board. Snyder would add another touchdown with a two-yard plunge from Nelson, but it's a bit too little, too late. Lures, they win it 34 to 13. People said that you know Snyder may have too much speed for us, but we showed tonight we had the more speed, we had the more power, and we, we play better. Everybody's coming back, everybody's healthy, everybody can make plays, and that's what happened tonight. They outplayed us, and you know you can classify that as out executing us, and uh, played harder than we did. So when those two things happen, you know it's not a recipe for success for our, for us. We've been playing football in this conference for 50 years and competing with everybody at the highest level. So. Uh, I'm a little irritated right now with certain people, but uh, I won't point any fingers, but uh, we can play football with anybody, and our kids prove that tonight. After the message we sent tonight, I feel like we're, you know, we feel very confident about tonight's win, but I feel like we need to go back to, the, to practice Monday, ready to work and ready for Northrop. Certainly, Lures may have uh, uh, quite a load of talent, but I think also in the SAC, every week, you got to come ready to defend some good athletes, some good players. So that, that isn't going to get easier next week to play Southside. It ain't going to get easier when you play Northrop and, and Dwanger and, and teams down the road. So, um, you know, if we don't fix them, we'll, we'll continue to struggle. But I'm confident our group will show up uh, and get ready to have the attitude and the mindset to get the work done to fix the mistakes. I think the last time we beat Snyder was 2000, and this is our third win since, or this will be our third win. So. Um, it means a lot to, to us to get Coach Lindsay this win because we know it was a big win. This is a big rivalry, and uh, we did everything we could tonight to uh, get that win.